is to advance the education and to move the learning curve for all of our practitioners so that they can achieve greater skill, greater mastery of whatever it is that they're there to learn about in a shorter amount of time and to decrease the risk of harm reaching our patients during that learning curve. I've been able to teach pediatric surgeons all over the world using simulation models developed right here at Lurie Children's Hospital and Northwestern Simulation. For selected different types of anatomy, we can 3D print it ahead of time, work with it in a simulation lab or in a virtual reality environment and do the operation, and then translate that from everything we learned in the simulation to then improve outcomes. My models are the only anatomically accurate real tissue models that are used for pediatric surgical education throughout the world. And we bring these models all over the world. This is a child that was born with a uh, previously unknown diaphragmatic hernia on newborn exam. He was noted to have uh, what sounded like bowel sounds in the left chest. We take these learners that are here and quickly move them to here without ever exposing an infant, a real live infant, to their learning curve from novice to expert. What we want in simulation are either the high risk or the rare, or even better, high risk and rare. Those are the best ones to simulate because there are fewer opportunities to train on them and the consequences of a learning curve error or adverse event has direct implications on that patient. Can I say that the surgeons who work in simulation are technically better? Absolutely. I think any parent would say, I really would rather have the doctor who has at least done lots of them in simulation versus the doctor who's never seen one but is gonna go ahead and give it a try. It's a unique opportunity, but we don't want it to be just unique to us. We want to improve the, the outcomes for all of our trainees. And that's why it's so important that we take what is so successful here at Lurie Children's Hospital and expand it to all these other pediatric surgical training programs worldwide.